Hey, how you doing? Austin Hilton here. In this video, we're going to be doing an update for Dogecoin. We're going to be looking at what the latest and greatest is related to Dogecoin. Uh, this is the morning after, the day after Elon Musk did his SNL thing. I'm sure you know by now, but we did drop. I've been talking about the fact that we would most likely drop either during or after the Saturday Night Live performance. And we're going to get into that and get into what he talked about and what he did and uh, where we dropped to. Um, I'll just cut to the chase. Where last, right, right before I started recording, we had dropped from 51 cents to 49.9 cents. I have a couple of pieces of information related to um, overall what happened and the fact that there was uh, almost a billion uh, tokens sold at or around the SNL skit. That's crazy if you think about it. There was a there was a there was a billion plus um, did Deutsch, Do, Dogecoin. All right, it's five thirty in the morning for me, guys. There was a billion plus Dogecoin uh, tokens sold right around the time that he was doing his SNL thing, and the fact that we only dropped to fifty cents, give or take. Uh, I think that's pretty significant. But ultimately, this comes down to kind of what type of investor you are in Dogecoin, if you're short term, long term, et cetera. We're going to talk about that as well. So with all that said, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Here we go. Let's get started. So I wanted to show you this tweet that I found. Look, more than 100 billion was sold. And I say a billion earlier, 100 billion was sold at the SNL, yet we still haven't lost much. It really proves that we're stronger than any well. Stay strong and HODL. Hold on. Next stop to the moon, baby. Look right here. So the fact that we had a hundred billion uh, coins sold right around SNL, and the fact that we are still sitting at forty-nine cents, to me, is a pretty significant thing. I've been talking about this uh, leading up the fact that we would most likely have a sell-off at some point, very, very quickly around the SNL scenario. Um, it happened actually happened kind of around and during, and the fact that we sold a hundred billion plus coins. And we are still sitting at 50 cents to me, to me, to me really speaks to the power of this uh, cryptocurrency, okay? So before I kind of uh, talk about really what I wanna talk about related to um, my long-term thoughts, we need to look at what he said. Now, uh, right back here, uh, right here, Elon Musk opened SNL by telling his mother that he's gifting her Dogecoin for Mother's Day. So that was, his, that was in his opening. Uh, and then <clears throat> the skit that he did is he played a financial expert, Lloyd Oyster Tag, in a sketch. Um, and what he did was it was uh, on the, it was uh, the premise of the weekend update sketch was to explain Dogecoin, a cryptocurrency. So and what he was telling them, it was just to try to explain to them it's the future of currency. It's an unstoppable financial vehicle that's going to take over the world. And they were like. Uh, he said, I keep telling you it's cryptocurrency, you can trade for conventional money. And then they were kind of joking, oh, so it's a hustle. He said, yeah, it's a hustle. And then he said, to the moon. Uh, and then, so basically, and this was this was not what he said, but I think this is very, very true. Uh, as he was hosting the show, Dogecoin, Dogecoin briefly slumped 30%, but I think it was this right here. I think, we, I think this was probably pretty accurate. Buy the rumor, sell the news. I think that that's really what happened last night, guys, is, <clears throat> and, and a little bit into this morning, is you had people buying the rumor and selling the news. I can tell you from me on my channel, um, it was a frenzied state of everybody like, oh my God, I got to get in, I got to get in, I got to get in now, I got to get in. And it, so it was buy the rumor and sell the news. The rumor was him going on SNL. What's he going to do? What's going to happen? Oh my God, if he even mentions Dogecoin on, on Saturday Night Live, is it going to go up You know, to $2 and a dollar and et cetera? Now, could that have happened? Yes, that absolutely could have happened. And I talked about that and we all talked about that here on my channel. But what really happened, again, you can see from the chart, was that we really did have a buy, a, a, a buy the rumor, sell the news scenario. Okay. So what I want to talk about really with you guys though, is I want to talk about where do we go from here? Where do you go from here? And so it really comes down to that video I did. Where do, where do you go from here? Should you buy or should you sell in that scenario? Should you buy? If It depends on, again, what kind of an investor you are. Or do you believe in Dogecoin long term? If so, and do you want to be involved with it long term? Do you think it's going to go up from here? Then you should absolutely buy because we have had a what? We've had a dip that I've been talking about on almost every video that I've done, we've had a dip, okay? So you can buy on the dip and and 
and then can, and then can again continue to hold long term and, and add more if you you know if it's if it's the right choice for you. But it's got to be the right choice for you. Okay, that's if you're really kind of thinking about getting into it. If you own Dogecoin and you're thinking about adding more, very very similar. Should you buy more? It depends on your long term goals. Depends on how much you have invested. Don't you know? Don't don't don't. Put the kids' college fund in. Don't use money that you can't afford to lose. We already saw the scenario that it did drop a little bit. We saw that there was fluctuation in this. We saw that there was going to be volatility a little bit. Again, I think it was absolutely buy the rumor and sell the news. That's what happened. Uh, and I, and I'm, I'm gonna and I don't keep to, I don't mean to keep saying it, but I really want to keep stressing it. I was telling you guys this for four or five plus days that that is absolutely what could happen. It is absolutely a possibility. And so I was telling you things that you could do to kind of protect yourself. Either A, if you haven't, if you weren't in it yet, maybe you shouldn't get in it yet. Maybe you should wait, right? Because I, I said that there was going to be a pullback. And additionally, um, if you were adding about adding more, maybe you, you depends on if you were adding going to add more, if you already owned it, you're going to add more, then you needed to, to either add more and know that it could dip. And if you're going to hold long term, you're good or just wait. So let's flip and talk about selling. You currently own it right now. If, if my opinion, again, this is not investment advice. If I owned the, if I owned Dogecoin and I owned it at say 65 cents, I would sit on it and I would wait. I wouldn't sell and take the loss. Do I? Because do I think it's going to go back up? Yes, I absolutely think it's going to go back up at some point in time. What's the time frame on that? It could be a dollar by next month. It could be two dollars by by the end of by the you know by the the end of the year, it could be even higher. I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that it, this, this has the, the possibility to really definitely go up, okay? Um, it, so that's if you bought kind of, if you bought in and you're kind of holding it, let's say you're, you know, you're, you know, 60, 65, 70 cents, that's your price point. I think you should buy, I think you should hold. That's my opinion. If you feel like you need to get out and take the loss, then that's cool. Then that, that's your choice. Um, you know, me, I'm holding for the long term. Me, I'm in this for the long term. I think that this is absolutely a good investment long term. I'm going to go back to that uh, that tweet that I showed you that more than 100 billion was sold at, at, and and we still haven't lost much really proves that we are stronger as any well stay strong. I definitely would tend to agree with that. That's my personal opinion. But that's for me. I'm in it for the long term. Um, you know, if you want to be in, 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 in other cryptos, then maybe you should look at like Cardano, uh, Ethereum Classic, these, some of these others that are um, the XRP, uh, Litecoin, those are all other good ones as well, don't tend to have as much um, uh, celebrity factor, things like that. And you know, you could look at some of those, they have different utilities, things like that. My point to you is that I cover all those on my channel, so you could definitely look at those. Uh, if you're kind of looking at, hey, I want to be, I want to maybe diversify my, you know, your, your, your portfolio. Let's look at market cap. So before I uh, refresh this, when we were at 67, we were 88 billion. So now we're at 49 cents and we're at 63 billion. So there's your market caps. Okay. So again, now we're pretty, pretty dramatically far away from finance, which, you know, you guys know uh, from my channel is absolutely who I kind of have my sights set on. Uh, but, you know, some of these others are really, really good. Cardano is a fantastic um uh, cryptocurrency XRP is fantastic. Litecoin at 365 a coin is fantastic. Uh, there was Ethereum Classic right down here at 119. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, it's one of those deals where you kind of have to kind of decide where you're going to go from here. Um, and me, I'm in it for the long haul. Me, uh, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not selling anymore. Uh, I probably will buy a little bit more at this level, and I'll continue to kind of watch it to see how it, you know how if we drop a little bit, right? Um, maybe you know I'm going to buy some more on the dip. Um, but don't misunderstand me. I'm not I'm not loading up where you know this is not my only investment. I have regular stocks. I have other cryptocurrencies. I, I own ETFs. I have I have a very diversified portfolio. You know scenario. I have mutual funds, things like that. So cryptocurrency is not the only thing I'm into, and. Um, you definitely needs to be uh, to the level of your tolerance, right? And to and to be good. So I'm going to uh, end on that, and we've dropped a little bit to we're not 48. So I would continue maybe to watch it during the rest of the day because uh, you have people really just kind of now waking up in the United States at six o'clock uh, uh, Central Time here. Uh, I made this for you guys earlier because I got a crazy busy day. I'm going to be with the family all day, so I wanted to get this to you guys. But that's where we're at. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll come to you later. I'll probably be back with you later tonight and uh, we'll, we'll wrap up with that. Um, yeah, this is basically kind of what I expected. I hope you enjoy your day. Have a good one. And uh, this too shall pass and we'll get through this. 
And uh, this is a good pullback to maybe look at buying some more and adding some more if that's kind of where, where your goal is. See you down the road. Take it easy. Bye.